Yo, what's up? My name is Manuel, and I just took a shower, but anyways, today we're going to talk about a really interesting topic, and that topic is the fly-by-wire systems, otherwise known as the FBW, but we're just going to call it fly-by-wire because it's shorter that way. The fly-by-wire systems, it consists of replacing the conventional manual controls from the pilot towards the aircraft. In other words, the inputs are converted into electronic signals and, and are interpreted by the flight control surface, uh, I mean, sorry, the flight control computers, FCC for short, and are sent to each control surface, like aileron, elevator, rudder, or even the, st the trim and the spoilers, and, and in that way, it makes the appropriate adjustment or movement you know the fly-by-wire system is actually meant to act like a third hand in other words if it's if the if it detects that the aircraft is at a wrong position it automatically corrects which improves stability and safety but this the design of the fly-by-wire systems uh, it depends on each aircraft some of them being more advanced and other ones being a little bit simplified but the but the key components are the same and they are the flight control computers as F FCC for short they are the ones that process each input from the pilot and calculate any necessary adjustments to the flight control surfaces, the whether it's the ailerons, the spoilers, or the elevators, or the, the rudder. And, and it also has the sensors, which are the ones that detect uh, each, each pilot inputs, if it's the yoke or normally the joystick. And there are also, are also the actuators, which are the ones that control each flight, con flight control surfaces and they are the ones that physically move the ailerons. And these actuators are meant for fly-by-wire aircraft in order to receive the signal from the flight, con from the flight control computer and, make the, and receive the input from the, flight con from the appropriate adjustment. I don't know why this is switching to panorama, this camera, but anyways, I'm just recording from here, but but what you have to understand from this fly-by-wire concept is that it has improved many generations of aircraft. It has improved many, many, uh, many, many aspects from aviation and replacing the traditional control systems. And those are the weight reduction and because the traditional control surfaces, they can weight a lot, uh, obviously relatively but they can they can wait some something which could decrease fuel efficiency but the flight control but the flight control systems from the fly by wire systems they are electronic and these electronic systems are lighter and they improve fuel efficiency another improvement from that makes the fly by wire system to the aircraft is the increased safety because if it detects that the aircraft is at a wrong position as i said for example if it's if the angle of attack is too high the the fly by wire would react and it wouldn't let the the pilot make any further adjustment upwards and it's just trying to prevent it going at a higher pitch which is really really necessary to prevent any stall which i already covered in another video and in the, another thing it improves is the in, is the performance because it not only increases safety or in, in because if the fly wire systems um, find that it's at a wrong position it sort of stabilizes uh, the fly wire systems actually make the flight a lot more stable it's sort of like a, an autopilot but it's more like a third hand but the the thing about the fly wire is that each time you move the the aircraft you using the joystick it actually maintains the aircraft really really well unlike any traditional mechanical control systems 
which you have to adjust, you know, if the wind is too high, I mean, it's too, it's too strong, or if it's, if the airspeed is too low, or something like that, it's, in, it's a little unstable, and that is why the fiber wire systems are a lot more stable. And the final thing is the maintenance efficiency, because the mechanical parts are physical, obviously, I mean, yes, all of them are physical, but, you know, they are a lot, uh, they cost more to take care of them or to replace them. And in contrast, the electronic systems are easier to maintain and therefore it's more efficient and less costly. Now, are there? Yeah, okay. So before we get into the next topic, I mean, into the next part, which is pretty straightforward, I would like you to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, the fiber wire systems or the traditional flight control systems. They both have their benefits and their contrasts. And I would like you to even let me know what are the contrasts from or the cons for the fiber wire systems. I would like I would really appreciate it. But if to continue and to finalize, um, the fiber wire systems have made a huge impact in aviation because before um, the pilot would be flying and this and it wouldn't it wouldn't be aware of for example if it was about to stall and it, and without the flyer wire it would actually stall but with the flyer wire it it automatically detects that it's it's about to stall so therefore it makes certain adjustments and it prevents the pilot from pitching the nose up which is really really good and and yeah, yeah, and you've probably noticed that the flyer wire systems have also been common in the, especially the A320 family, particularly the A320 Neo, and as well as the A321 Neo. These aircraft have really good flyer wire systems, as well as the rest of the Airbus family, and, and as well as the rest of the Airbus family, but. Uh, the the A320 family were the first ones in the for Airbus, and that is why they're a lot more famous. Even the Microsoft Flight Simulator add-on is named after the system, which is really efficient. There are also several other aircraft, and even in Boeing, Boeing in the in the Boeing Triple Seven and in the Boeing Seven Eighty Seven, they have flyby wire systems. It's just that again, they are more different, and they can vary in and how and and how they work and how they are similar so with that in mind i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're passionate like i am in aviation i really encourage you to subscribe because i make videos every day so in order not to miss any topic or any new idea for your aviation career or your aviation uh, passion and i would i would definitely subscribe if i were you and as well as like this video in order for that to spread to more people and with that in mind we'll see you in the next video happy flying